You can see how big that Susquehanna River is. That's 444 miles long. 10,000 little farm tributaries that go into that. Kyle? Kyle's not here. Thank you. My name is Carrie Snavely, and I'm a science educator at Conestoga Valley High School. It is right now 70 something, and the fish are just saying, Catch me, catch me, catch me. I want the kids to understand what's happening when it rains. Where does that water go? So through my MeWe, we're going to see that it goes to Stauffer Run, which is right next door to us. Where are that's connected to? Stauffer Run's connected to the Conestoga River. Why do I care? Because that's where your drinking water is drawn from. You can tell it's a guy because the first few swimmerettes are pointed up. Good job. Love it. Is it going to regenerate? You can show them all the pictures you want. They can draw in the classroom, but till you're outside in the stream, turning over those rocks, collecting those macro invertebrates. Wow, there it is. Oh, it's smaller than what I thought it was going to be, or it's bigger. Okay, this guy requires a lot of what? Oxygen, okay? Mm -hmm. So he's sort of like still, isn't he? Yeah. We better give him some water, and we're going to see his, there we go, look at his gills <laughs> going. 16 degrees Celsius. So, you can say 96 centimeters. So. Okay. We test for nitrates, that's big around here because we're agriculture. We test for phosphorus. We do a dissolved oxygen test, of course, pH, total chlorine. And we test for iron. That's another thing we talk about here because you don't want iron in our waterway because that would be uh, detrimental to the cows and their milk production. The kids measure the width, the depth, the velocity to see if there's been any change. We note for erosion. They follow the meander. So it whips out of there and it hits his bank and brings it down and then it scoots over there. And they're with their group. I mean, in the real world, you work in a team and you have to learn to work with everyone. Everybody has their specialty, okay, but so you have to work as a team together, and they do. 33.2. I walk up and down, just watching them love it. Be cautious of pectoral or front. Right. All right, so you have eight minutes to. Side legs, side legs, side legs, more side legs, more side legs. And then they got a tail like right here. We're going to take our data sheets today and we're going to fill out this data to see if indeed our section of Stalfour Run, which contributes to the Conestoga River, which goes to the Susquehanna River, which goes to the Chesapeake Bay, is a good place. I've been doing MeWe's for about 30 years, but I never had a real guide to put a MeWe together. We have standards, and I was checking them off, I did it, did it, did it, but I never really had a flow to it. So the MeWe helped me put my one concept into the right thought to follow those standards, because now I can look at my MeWe and look at my standards, check, 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 oh! The MeWe is everything that you're doing, but now it helps you do it better. You got a phosphate over rain? Yep, who else did? What brought it downstream? The cows. the cows that are upstream that aren't fenced in. Well done. Okay. See, we're thinking. So we did a stormwater management plan. We talked about the BMPs. What are some of the things that we could put in place to control the runoff and purify it before it would enter our waterway? So would someone like to explain our action plan? We have green roofs to catch the runoff as well as permeable pavement and rain barrels here to catch the rainwater. We have a swale that goes in the backyards and then to a retention pond. But what would a permeable pavement do to help with the runoff? It would reduce the amount of flat surface there is and more green surface. Exactly. Thinking caps on, if there was a group that caught a leech yesterday, would their water have had a high deal? The or favorite part of my MeWe it's when they round table and they've taken all this information that they've gathered from their field trips, from their knowledge content that they've gained in the classroom, from our discussions, and they take their data sheets and they interpret what those numbers mean. And then they have that aha moment. Wow, this is why we found a lot of class one, class two organisms. We have high quality water. So their moments of understanding this or when they look at their results and say, our nitrates were high, and you hear them talking, it's those cows, that farmer's got to get that fence up. That's my proud moment, like, yeah, we did it. They got it. Is that farm that just got sold? Maybe they might do some more stream bank fencing. Part of the MeWe is we need an action plan. What could we do to help build good stewardship in our community? 
I need a visual. So the kids came up with the idea about doing CVHS recycles. Tom Care is year, our metal shop teacher. So I just went downstairs to his shop and said, hey, I have an idea. And he just looks at me and says, yeah, you always have an idea. I said, OK, but I need your help. All right, what's your idea? So of course, I have the plane sheet where Tom can do all the fancy cat stuff. And he says, huh, your kids, my kids working together. We can do this. One, two, three, fill her up. I like that moment of me when it all comes together. And when we got to put our recycling letters out there, and they took out their recyclables. It wasn't trash, it was recyclables. Look at all this, we recycle. And now as the cars go by, they're gonna see what we learned. Our kids are becoming environmental stewards.